and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share a few items you may wish to consider when selecting a development to build your new house. Building a new house is very exciting and sometimes choosing between different developments can be a bit overwhelming. I hope that the next few items I share with you will help you down the journey and help you make the best decision for you. So let's get started. Number one, developments, quality, and aesthetics. When you visit a new development, it can be in various stages of construction. At times, there are only model homes to look at. It can be difficult to imagine what the finished neighborhood will look and feel like. Though seeing a big piece of land bare and using your imagination to envision what it will look like in the end is sometimes not easy, it's also usually the best time to purchase as it's common for developers to increase their prices as the construction progresses. So what can we do to help us envision the finished project? One thing that may be helpful is visiting some of the developers' past projects. This will help give you an idea of how their finished projects look and feel like and how they are maintained. If you have the opportunity, it may also be helpful to chat with some of the existing homeowners about their experience with their neighborhood and their homes. Another thing you can do, if not already offered, is to ask for any 3D renderings they have available for the project. Be sure to ask as many questions as you need to feel comfortable about your decision and your investment. Other items you may want to inquire about that can affect the look and feel of the neighborhood are whether they're planning to have sidewalks, street trees, and landscaping, street lighting, what the spacing between homes is going to look like. Are they going to be close together or are they going to be a good distance apart? Also, you may want to take a look at if if they are going to have an HOA, you may want to look at the HOA manual and seeing what the regulations are going to be. Number two, construction methods and materials. When visiting a new development, you can be overtaken by how beautiful the model homes look. Everything is new and shiny. However, it's important to get a hold of our emotions and focus on the important factors, those which will affect the house's durability and our well-being. For example, you want to be aware of the foundation type being used. Is a house going to be built on a concrete slab or is it going to have a crawl space? These different methods will affect many factors, including future maintenance. Another item you want to be aware of is the interior paint type being used. A low VOC paint will help maintain a healthier indoor air quality for you and your family. I know all of this can sound a bit overwhelming if you're not familiar with construction, but reaching out to a friend or professional that has more experience in this area can pay off in the long run and even help you decide between numerous developments if that's the case. Number three, warranties. It's helpful to be aware of any warranties that are included with your new house. Many items will come with their respective warranties, such as appliances, windows, roofing, etc. In addition, many developers include a builder's warranty to help give owners a peace of mind. Being aware of the warranties is important and can serve as a valuable resource when you're selling your house. Number four, standard versus upgrades. As it's happened to many of us, you walk into a model home and you're wowed with how beautiful it is. And later you find out many items are upgrades. Developers usually include many upgrades in their model homes. It helps them with their sales and profit. It's important to fully be aware of what is standard and make your upgrade choices carefully as they can add up rather quickly. Sometimes a little research can go a long way. For instance, it may be worthwhile to purchase some or all of your kitchen appliances on your own as you will get a better deal than purchasing directly from the developer. For other items, it just may not be worth a headache to do it on your own and it may be simply worth the extra few bucks to have the developer take care of it. Alright guys, I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to be notified of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and take care.